Hi, my name's April. Um, I've never really done any kind of video like this before or posted anything to YouTube, um, but I really wanted to create this to, to hopefully help some people um, and just give them a bit of an idea if they're going through the same as me. Um, so basically three weeks ago, I had the part one of a sacral nerve stimulator implanted into my spine. Now I wanted to do this video uh, just because before I had the procedure done, I did a lot of research online and I really struggled to find um, much information or kind of anyone else's experience with um, axonics. There was a lot about the interstim, um, but really not much out there. So um, that's why I thought I would do this because I've had axonics and I want to share my experience. Uh, so a brief history of me um, just to compare. So I've had bladder problems throughout my whole life as long as I can remember. And then about 10 years ago, uh, whilst doing bladder studies, they discovered I had a very large ovarian cyst. Um, it was about the size of a grapefruit. Um, most likely it had always kind of grown with me as I got older um, and it had just grown in my pelvic kind of cavity, uh, pushed everything out of place into wherever it shouldn't have been basically. And uh, it was all just filled up um, with this um, cyst. So we kind of thought, well, ah, that's probably my problem. My bladder's not got any space to fill up, which is why I need to go all the time and I'm always really, really desperate to go. So I had the surgery and I thought that, you know, give give it a bit of time, let things calm down. Um, maybe that will sort all of my problems out, but um, unfortunately it didn't. Nothing really changed at all. Um, so I kind of had to go from the start again um, for all different bladder procedures, treatments, medications, um, pretty much everything, uh, which as I say was about 10 years ago. So here I am now, I've worked my way through the list. Unfortunately, we didn't have any luck with any of it. Um, and then I had to do a couple of tests um, to see whether the uh, sacral nerve stimulator would um, be successful for my symptoms. And it turns out that, yes, I kind of flagged up on these tests that it, it, there's a good chance that it would help me. So then I was um, given the option to either go with uh, a system or a little device called uh, Interstim and then Axonix. Um, I chose to go with Axonix because it's a lot, lot smaller. Um, when you see a picture of the two, it's, I mean, it's probably a third of the size. Um, you can get an MRI scan done with it. Um, the only downside really with it, I guess, is that it's you have to recharge it, but it's only really once a week for an hour or so, so that's pretty easy just to sit down on the sofa and just charge yourself watching telly. And I was just really worried with the interstim that it would be quite big, um, and I'm you know I'm not a big person, um, but I I didn't want to be able to really feel it or it be obvious that it was there. So yeah, decision was made. I was good with axonics. So first they like to do um, a trial period just to see whether you know it, it does actually work for you um, before they go ahead and implant the permanent um, implant. So um, for the trial period or part one as they call it, um, it was just day surgery. So I went in and I was able to go home the same day which is always nice to get home to your bed when you're feeling a bit rubbish. Um, it was uncomfortable, uh, but they give you lots of painkillers, so it's not too bad. Um, but I had three kind of little incisions um, in the bottom of my back. I had the, the central one, which I think is where they probably located the actual um, the nerve. I had my left-hand side is where the wire comes out. And then I got one on my right side, which is probably about, I don't know, a couple of inches long. Um, and I think that's where they kind of do everything. It's, it's all quite clever, really. So I was sore for quite a few days, um, but I actually only took the day of surgery off um, and then I had two days after. So I went back to work on the Monday. Um, I probably could have taken a bit more time off work, but it was pre-Christmas. It's a busy time of year and I was quite keen to get back. So um, I went back to work then. Uh, to start with, you don't want to sleep on your back. Um, it's a very, very tender area. So luckily I sleep on my front anyway, so that wasn't an issue at all. Um, and what am I, about three weeks now and I'm just about to, well I'm just starting to kind of sleep on my back and it's just much more comfortable um, just sitting in my car. Um, it's still sore and it's, it's a tender area, I mean you can feel it's quite bruised but it, it's so much better after a couple of weeks. 
then there's the results. So, um, oh, before I forget, um, there's actually a Facebook support group called SNS Support. Um, I didn't know this until after I'd had it done, um, but go and request to be part of the group because it's really helpful. You can ask lots of questions. Um, everyone's putting on their, their you know, different experiences. Um, I mean, this nerve stimulator treats all, side, all kind of different um, symptoms as well. So it's just really interesting to, to share with other people and, and just get information really. So results. So I didn't feel anything straight away. And then um, I became a member of this group and that was my question was, you know, how long did it take? I was, I was so keen to see whether it was gonna work for me or not. And everyone was like, oh yeah, I knew within 24 hours, you know, I, I noticed a difference, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, okay, it's been longer than that. I'm still not seeing any changes. And then day five or day six came around and I did a shopping trip and it was just really bizarre. Um, for me, a shopping trip would involve going to the toilet before I leave the house, um, going to the toilet when I get to the shopping centre, um, probably going to the toilet, you know, once I'm having a break, shopping around, um, going to the toilet before I leave, and then probably bursting through the door when I get home to go to the toilet because I'm so desperate. Um, so quite a lot. Um, I did go before I left the house, I didn't go when I got there. And then walking around, I kind of felt like I could go, but I didn't have that desperation that I would normally have. And I was just like, okay, this is quite strange. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to this, this is good. Um, but I thought, I'm just gonna leave it, I'm not gonna go. And then it came to leaving and my husband was like, do you wanna go? And I thought, I could go, but I don't actually need to. It, it was really strange, so I thought, no, I'm not gonna go. Sat in the car. You know, half an hour journey home, got home and I thought I could go, but I don't actually really need to. So then I found myself, get, I just got distracted. Um, I spilled like a jar of honey or something in the cupboard and I found myself clearing it out. And then before I knew it, I was three cupboards deep and pots and pans everywhere all over the kitchen and having to go clean out. And then my neighbor popped over and she asked me, oh, how's things going? I just kind of stopped and I thought, oh my God, I've been home now about an hour and a half and I still haven't gone. Like, that's just mad. Like, that's unheard of for me. So after that happened, I mean, that was really exciting because that's when I thought, okay, this is starting to do something now. This is, this is exciting. Um, and I was off work at this time over Christmas. Um, so I had, you know, we were quite busy trying to get out and about doing things. Um, and I just had a few days where I was like that, where I would go out and I thought to myself, normally I would go before I leave, but I'm not going to because, you know, I don't actually need to. And then I would go out and I could just enjoy a few hours out and come home and just, just not have that horrible desperation and the thought process where for me, if I was to go out anywhere, I'd be like, right, I'll go before I leave. Think about how long is the car journey? Um, how long am I going to be there? Where are the toilets for if I'm there? How long is the journey back? While I'm out, can I have a drink? But then will that interfere with the journey home? There's just so much thinking ahead um, that I just felt I don't feel I really need to do. So yeah, it's been really great. Another great thing is I've not had any of my bad spells, which I get sometimes um, for no reason at all where I could probably go about six times in one hour. Um, it's really annoying and I've not had that once. Um, and sometimes um, I can go probably eight times at night. And the most I've got up, I think there was one night where I got up about three times, um, but I think that was more to do with the fact where I'd laid on my back, the kind of soreness had woken me up and because I woke up, my instant thought is go to the toilet. Um, and so since then I've just got up, I think once or twice and now it's kind of gone down to one. Um, and then last night, actually, I did get up twice, but the first time I kind of woke up, I thought, well, I could go, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just going to lay here and go back to sleep. Um, and I did go back to sleep and then I woke up, um, at, I kind of like what I would say normal time just to go to the toilet and, and went and I was like, well, this is great. I could actually just go back to sleep like that and not be like squirming around in desperate need to, to go and pee.
so I thought I'd just show you what um, everything kind of looks like. So I'm gibbering away and I completely forgot to mention that obviously for the trial period you've got your external um, battery pack. So this is what everything looks like. So that's the little battery pack there and the wire. Um, and then the first one here, this is literally a coil of wire. So um, it, it's quite long, but I guess the purpose of that is because if you're ever to pull on it, it's only going to pull from the reel of wire here rather than from the actual hole that the wire comes out of, uh, which is this one. That one there is the one that I think they located the nerve um, and that's just got some dissolvable stitches. And then you got that one just there. Um, and that's where I think they actually do everything. So once you've had um, the trial bit implanted, um, before you leave the hospital, um, the lovely Axonics um, rep comes around um, and answers any questions that you've got, uh, plugs you into his little computer, it's all quite strange, um, and does little tests um, to see where you're feeling stimulation and he can work out what's kind of got best for you. Um, and then they set up two different settings, uh, which then you have control of on a remote that looks like this it's literally like a little key fob um, and the idea is uh, to test different parts of the nerve so uh, for a few weeks I'm testing number one and then uh, after I've completed my bladder diary I will go on to number two and it's just really to see if either or will be better than the other for you it is a strange sensation um, when they first turn it on, but it's amazing how quickly you get used to it. Uh, the easiest way to explain it is it's like a tapping that you get in your toe. So for me, I've got it in my right big toe and you also get a little bit in your butt cheek as well, which is a bit strange. So depending on how I'm kind of sat laying every now and again, I might just feel that kind of tapping sensation um, or pulse, but I kind of move and, and then it's gone. So I, I like to feel it because I know that it's working. Um, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my God, I, I haven't felt it. It's not working, it's not working. And then I, I kind of turn this up, give myself a little zap and I'm like, oh no, it is working. Let me turn that back down again. <laughs> I'm doing my bladder diary at the moment so I can compare to before um, and obviously with the implant. Um, and once I've done that, I'm going to change over to the second side, um, which I think it just, it, it stimulates a different part of the nerve. Um, so I'll give that a try and see if that makes any difference because um, that can. So we shall see. But so far, everything's going really well. It's exciting. Um, as I say, I've had some days that have been amazing. I've had other days which have been average, but they're still good um, when I kind of think and compare to normal so I can't complain at all I'm excited um, I'm due to go in on the 28th of this month January um, it was to either have it all removed or to have the implant so if everything continues this way I will get the permanent implant but I will um, give you a little update hopefully then uh, to see share how I'm getting on but as I say I just wanted to create this video um, just for anyone out there who's thinking about it um, and just want a little bit more information on the experience um, but as I say go to the Facebook page it's brilliant it's really good um, and you'll have people on there that can answer all your questions um, but yeah I hope this helps